today we are going to uh, study a brand Procter and Gamble. So this is a case study. So we will start. Procter and Gamble P and G began in 1837. So it's very old company. It started in 1837. So 1837 to 1937 and 1937 to 2037 so almost within few years it will uh, it will complete almost 200 years when brothers brothers in law william porter and james gamble formed a small candle and soap company so Proc procter and gamble png was a small candle and soap manufacturing company in 1837 so you can imagine from 1837 to this point of time how much Procter & Gamble has uh, grown and today Procter & Gamble PNG is considered to be one of the fastest and biggest uh, FMCG company globally over the next 150 years Procter & Gamble innovated and launched scores of revolutionary products with superior quality and value including ivory soap in 1882 tied laundry detergent in 1946 crest toothpaste with fluoride in 1955 and pampers disposable diapers in 1961 so as company was growing so it has got 150 years plus of uh, experience in fmcg industry so over a period of time they started adding uh, products in their portfolio just like 1882 they start uh, they included ivory soap then they 18 1946 they launched tide laundry detergent then in 1955 they come up with the crest toothpaste with fluoride and 1961 pampers disposable diapers they launched the comp company also opened the door to new product categories by acquiring a number of companies including Richardson's Wix makes of personal care products like Pantene, Olay and Wix. Norwich Eaton Pharmaceuticals. Second company was Norwich Eaton Pharmaceuticals. Makers of Pepto Bismol. Gillette, Noxel, makers of Noxima, Shultons, Old Spice, Max Factor and Amspate Food Company. So uh, they have also uh, done merger and acquisition so intelligent merger and acquisition made this company so bigger and could able to uh, uh, increase its portfolio by very good global brands like Wix is very big brand Ole is also very big brand then Bismol is also very big brand Panty, Panty, Gillette uh, these are very popular brand old spice is uh, uh, is very very much popular brand amongst the male uh, uh, adult so likewise uh, they have not restricted themselves to launching the product or doing research and development on their own they have also acquired intent intelligently the new uh, the uh, brands the uh, the popular brands all over the world Today, Procter & Gamble is one of the most skillful marketers of the consumer packaged goods in the world and holds one of the most powerful portfolio and trusted brands. So you must be knowing that there are two big uh, competitor in uh, uh, two major companies all over the world in FMCG category that is Procter & Gamble and Hindustan Unilever. The company employs 1,21,000 like empl uh, people or the employees in about 80 countries worldwide has 25 billion dollar global brand spends more than 2 billion annually on research and development and has total worldwide sales in excess of 84 billion a year its sustained market leaderships uh, re rest on a number of different capabilities and philosophies so you can you can you can imagine one like 21000 employees in uh, working in 80 countries and 25 uh, billion dollar global brands it has got and spends more than 2 billion on research and development and sales worldwide exceeds 84 billion so 
it is huge company it is you can't imagine the the working of this company it's very difficult to manage such a global company now customer knowledge company has some strengths or uh, some uh, some expertise like customer knowledge procter and gamble studies its customer both the end customers and its trade partners through continuous marketing research and intelligence gathering so from where you will come to know that uh, what customer require what is the need of the customer what is the uh, uh, desire of the customer when customer will be satisfied when customer will be delighted that you can understand by only doing research on customers or doing some satisfaction survey so that they are doing it uh, properly and accurately and they are expert in doing uh, research and understanding customers expectation it spends more than 100 million annually on a more than 10000 formal consumer research projects and generates more than 3 million, 30 lakhs uh, consumer contacts via its email and phone center so they are also collecting data they are also they are also maintaining the, the data they are doing a lot of projects on the consumers and these uh, there are more than 10000 uh, research projects are going on and uh, they are also giving budget proper budget they are giving for these research activities almost they are spending 100 million dollar uh, annually per year on these projects the company also encourages its marketers and researchers to be out in the field interacting with the consumers and retailers in their home environment so uh, they are also asking their researchers their marketers their sales people to understand the customer and to provide the key information to provide the very important information about the customers or their observation micro observation even they have even they would, would like to mention some something uh, that procter and gamble is uh, uh, welcomes the feedback from the employee and from the researcher and from anyone who is going to contribute some kind of value understanding customer long term outlook procter and gamble takes the time to analyze each opportunity carefully before acting once committed the company develops the best product possible and ex executes it with the determination to make it a success so you must be knowing procter and gamble has very good determination and uh, if they decide to enter into one product they do proper research they take a lot of efforts they do planning they you know, brainstorm they put uh, their ideas and they come up with the success and until and unless they get the success they don't uh, they, uh, they 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 feel restless so this is the company which is uh, which takes the time to analyze each opportunity carefully before acting so it takes some time before entering into the category or into the segment but once they are entered their target is to remain either market leader or at the second position for example it struggled with the Pringles potato chips for almost a decade before achieving the market success. So it took 10 years to get the success in Pringle potato chips, but they did not uh, leave it. Recently, Procter and Gamble has increased its presence in developing markets by focusing on affordability, brand awareness, and distribution through e-commerce and high-frequency stores. So now they are working on the de developing markets. They are working on the e-commerce platform and they are working on uh, how to price it reasonably of how to increase the affordability of the products they are also increasing brand awareness they are also working on the distribution and they are also uh, improving their uh, frequency to uh, frequency of the visit of these customers now in pro under product innovation what company is doing procter and gamble is an active product innovator so it is a key strength procter and gamble is considered one of the best company for product innovation product launching even even better than the hul hindustan Unilever. there some of the products of the procter and gambles are the best the company employs 1000 science phds more than harvard berkeley 
and MIT combined and applies uh, for roughly 3800 patents each year. So getting 3800 patents uh, each year is not a joke or it is not a simple task. They are employing more than 100 good quality PhD and they ask them to come up with the new product. Part of its innovation process is to develop brands that offer new consumer benefits. Part of its innovation process is to develop brands that offer new consumer benefits. So they are always working uh, something, something we should do to improve the, uh, uh, how we can benefit the customer and how we can improve the existing, uh, existing products. Recent innovations that created entirely new categories include Fibris and odor eliminating fabric spray. So they have uh, recently come up with a spray which will uh, which will uh, uh, which will eliminate the uh, the bad smell or the odor. Dryl, a product that helps dry clean clothes at home in the dryer, and Swiffer, a cleaning system that effectively removes dust, dirt, hair from the floors. Harry Huston, former innovation officer at Procter & Gamble stated Procter & Gamble is largely branded science company. So like uh, Amazon, they want to establish as a technology company. Uh, Procter & Gamble want to establish as a branded science company. The product which has to be, which, which are launched after the careful study, after the careful research and after the proper research, development and innovation. Now, quality is one of the strength of the Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble designs products of the above average quality and continuously improves and formulates them. So Procter & Gamble knew that there is a lot of competition out there in the market and there are they, uh, they have a competition from the major player like uh, Hindustan Unilever and local players, unorganized sector. So they want to keep their quality of the product higher than any other products. That's why they should not be dependent on the advertisement. So the product, good product, good quality of the product itself should do advertising. So they are working on the improving, improving of the quality of the product in the first place. When the company says new and improved, it means it. Recent examples include Tide Pods, a compact laundry, uh, laundry detergent tablet, Pampers Rash Guard, a diaper that treats and prevents diaper rash, an improved two-in-one shampoo and conditioner products, Pantene, Vidal, Sesson, and Pert Plus. So they have done a lot of uh, research. They have done, uh, they have uh, uh, launched very good quality products and they have improved their quality even after some time. So Tide Pods, compact laundry detergent tablet. So sometimes what happens, we don't know how much, how much, uh, how much detergent to add. So they have come up with the, with the pods, which I, I think uh, uh, for, uh, it is fixed that how, how much you should add the uh, Tide Pods in the washing machine for each cloth. So they have come up with the pamper rash guard. So, uh, uh, pamper is diaper for the small kids, babies, and uh, uh, babies used to get the rash because of the uh, because of the pamper. So they come up with the rash guard. And uh, again, uh, they come up with the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner product like a panty. So. Innovation is at best in Procter & Gamble. Brand extension strategy, Procter & Gamble produces its brands in several sizes and for forms. So uh, this strategy gains more self space and prevents competitors from moving into satisfy unmet market needs. So uh, uh, in India, uh, people do not like to buy in bulk. People like to buy in small quantities. So in small size, forms, shapes, uh, and sachet uh, are comfortable for Indian customers. So like that, company has offered their products in small sizes, so, small forms, so sachets, so that small unit are, uh, are easily purchased and affordable by the 
customer and there should not be wastage and those people who are poor and middle class they should able to use these products and check the quality of the products also one more benefit is that these small products can be kept in the shelf without with uh, with with less space so there is more visibility and it amounts to advertising also Procter and Gamble also uses its strong brand names to launch new products with instant recognition and much less advertising outlay so most of the uh, on most of the product they are writing Procter and Gamble so it is umbrella branding that's why their products are launched quickly Pro Procter and Gamble also uses its strong brand names to launch new products with instant recognition and much less advertising outlay so their branding selection of the name for their particular individual brand is also very uh, very uh, what you can say is tactfully they are uh, they are launching the brand name like tide it, it is one of the best name you can have for the detergent then mr. clean brand has been extended from household cleaner to bathroom cleaner and even to car wash system so mr clean is also very intelligently given the brand name it is very common easy to pronounce easy to understand easy to use old spice extended its brand from men's fragrance to deodorant so they use this old they acquire this old spice and they did not keep this brand just only till for the shaving they extended this brand to deodorants also often procter and gamble will leverage the technologies already in place to create brand extension often procter and gamble will leverage the technologies already in place to uh, place to create brand extension so uh, procter and gamble is also considered good company for extending brand diversifying into new markets diversifying the, diversifying the brands into new categories for example when crest successfully extended its brand into the new tooth whitening system called crest white strips the company used bleaching methods from the procter and gamble's laundry division film technology from the food wrap division and glue techniques from the paper division so they have a lot of products they have a lot of research and development labs so while developing one product they also get benefited from the other laboratories other products other uh, other uh, other products you know uh, other products research knowledge so they were launching the chris uh, white strip and they got benefited from their laundry division then food wrap division then uh, paper division so because of they are very big company their other sub sbus that is uh, small business units they are also helping when they are launching with the new products like tata suppose tata is launching new electronic vehicle so uh, uh, there is tata steel will provide the steel tata chemicals will provide the necessary chemicals tata uh, batteries maybe may provide them batteries or uh, uh, tata uh, this uh, tata power will provide them uh, critical technologies tata motors will provide the design and whatever they require tcs will provide the software likewise it is happening with the procter and gamble because uh, they are very big they are, uh, they, are they, they are they are conglomerate they are they, they are very big company so other sub units are also helping them to launch the product multi brand strategy procter and gamble markets several brands in the same product category such as elu uh, loves and pampers diapers and oral b and crest toothbrushes each brand meets a different consumer want and competes against specific competitors brand so they have different uh, category properly defined and uh, they are uh, they are uh, they are they are properly defined and they are uh, conspicuous they, that each they no two products are interfering uh, with each other and they have they have selected the categories properly they have selected the products properly and they have launched the brand as per the 
different categories so uh, it's there is no dilemma in their product portfolio and they have successfully become a multi brand company at the same time the company is care, uh, careful not to sell too many brands and recently reduced its vast array of the product sizes flavors and varieties to assemble a stronger brand portfolio so those products who are uh, good products who are generating large revenues are kept and those products who are uh, loss making products who are not getting sold uh, those products are discontinued strong sales force procter and gamble sales force has been been named one of the top 25 sales force by the sales and marketing management magazine a key to its success is to is the close tie its sales force with the retailers no, uh, notably walmart so uh, tide has good sales force and it is uh, consider, considered as uh, world's best top 20 uh, it included in world's top best 25 sales force and they also have good cooperation among among them and uh, they also have uh, tie up with the uh, retail chains like walmart walmart amazon flipkart and other uh, uh, retail chains the 150 person team that serves the retail giant works closely with the walmart to improve both the products that go to the stores and the process by which they get there so they are also working on how to increase the sales through retail chains like walmart the 150% team that serves the retail giants works closely with the Walmart to improve the both the products that go to the stores and process by which they get there. So they are helping Walmart to place the product strategically, to place the product at proper place, and they are reducing the time to reach to the Walmart and also maintaining the stock and helping Walmart to uh, to sell their product through their retail outlet manufacturing efficiency and cut cost cutting so in manufacturing also they are good they, manufacturing is flexible manufacturing is proper prompt efficient and quick and they are also at each step they are also doing cost saving project cost cutting project so that the price should not be huge uh, for the customers Procter & Gamble's reputation as a great marketing company is matched by its excellence as a manufacturing company. The company has successfully developed uh, and continually improved its production operations which keep costs among the lowest in the industry. As a result, it is able to offer reduced prices for its premium products. So, as uh, they are doing cost-saving projects, cost-cutting projects uh, in their manufacturing plants and reducing the price, uh, reducing the uh, cost of the manufacturing one unit so also they are a big company and they are selling the products in a large number so economies of scales uh, because of economies of scale they can also reduce their prices of the product brand management system procter and gamble originated the brand management system in which one executive is responsible for each brand so it's like product management each one person will handle one product the system has been copied by many competitors but not often with the Procter & Gamble success. Recently Procter & Gamble modified its general management structure so that the category manager runs each brand category and has volume and profit responsibility. So in each category there is a category manager, there is product manager as well, product manager or brand manager and also there is a one category management. So they are working as product specific uh, company, product specific uh, organization and uh, though they are su succeeded in this uh, uh, this type of management but others did not success even by using this kind of uh, product one product one manager one category one manager system although this new organization does not replace the brand management system it helps to sharpen the strategic focus on key consumer needs and competition in the category. So if a, uh, if you have one manager for one product or you have one manager for one category, even if you do not improve on the on the sales or on the efficiency, 
you that manager will understand uh, what are the what are the problem what are the expectation of the customer how much competition they have where they are lacking so all the basic information which is required to go ahead will be collected by that product manager Procter and Gamble's accomplishment over the past 177 years have come from the successfully managing the numerous factors that contribute to market leadership. Procter and Gamble's accomplishment over the past 177 years have come from successfully managing the numerous factors that contribute to market leadership. So last 177 years they are facing a lot of problems, they are solving the, these problems and now they are, are emerged as a uh, market leader in FMCG. Today the company's wide range of the products are used by 4.8 billion people around the world in 180 different countries. So almost in all countries they are selling their products. So we have 203 uh, countries. So these the uh, and in 180 companies they are uh, in 180 countries they are selling their products. So they are uh, if you remove the small com uh, small countries almost in every country they are selling the their products. Now there are some questions on this case study. Procter and Gamble's impressive portfolio includes some of the strongest brand names in the world. What are the some of the challenges associated with being the market leader in so many different categories? So uh, when you are when you are present in all um, many different categories, so it becomes very difficult to manage the entire company. It is difficult to manage the products. It is difficult to manage the expectation of the customer. It is difficult to manage the distribution. It is difficult to manage the advertising. It is difficult to focus on uh, the key points or the uh, important issues. If you have if you, if you have if you have to handle a lot of things, you cannot able to focus on one single thing and slowly and gradually uh, your sales start decreasing and uh, when your sales start decreasing, you do not understand where to concentrate because altogether sales will happen to uh, happen to decrease from for most of the brands. And once there is a brand uh, brand dilution or there is a wrong reputation of the company, it will also harm the products in other categories. Second, with the social media becoming increasingly important and fewer people watching traditional commercial on the television, what does Procter & Gamble need to do so to maintain its strong brand image? With the social media becoming increasingly important and fewer people watching TV, traditional commercial on TV. So uh, they have to enter into the digital marketing. They have to use, they have to use Facebook advertisement, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp advertisement or YouTube advertisement. They have to they have to do advertisement through Instagram and other social media which are prevalent and majorly used by the customers. They should uh, they should uh, use cookies or they should use softwares whereby they can learn the buying pattern of the customers. They should have a tie up with the e-commerce platform like Amazon. Amazon can give them very good information about their customers uh, or the buying patterns of the customer in general and uh, uh, they should uh, they should focus on getting new customers on the, by the social media and they should able to uh, get uh, to retain the existing customer through the social media they can use direct direct marketing by sending uh, email and messages uh, they can also wish customers on festivals and on their birthdays so that they can have uh, long term customer relationship management uh, social media is key component so they should be present on on all social media and all the information should be should be made available third what risk will procter and gamble face in the future so in the future if you see in india we have uh, local big competitors like uh, himalaya uh, then we have uh, patanjali then we have local players we have in organized uh, competition from in organized sector and there are there is a risk that major uh, um, uh, other companies big major companies can enter into these segments also like uh, we have tata we have reliance we have other other major companies so they should focus they should focus on uh, uh, on competition they should focus on new product launch they should focus on customer satisfaction and they should be using technology 
in their business so whatever is the recent technology may it be artificial intelligence or any other technology uh, they should uh, think that how they can use this technology to uh, delight the customer to make the customer loyal and uh, through that only they will get the repeat purchase so thank you so much for watching this uh, video kindly subscribe